Yo guys, so Dr. Sparks, our main vet, just arrived at the Hakunami Park Oasis in order to do the surgery, the procedure on Nyla. Nyla has those blisters on her mouth and we spotted that a couple of weeks ago and since it didn't get better, he came out now to do that surgery. He's my go-to person whenever something is wrong with an animal, whenever I need medical help for the animals or a procedure needs to be done. Already a day before Dr. Sparks' arrival, I had to separate Nyla from the rest of the pride in order for Dr. Sparks to be able to tranquilize her. Usually such a separation can be quite difficult, because how do you tell an untrained pride of six lions that only one is allowed to move forward and the rest has to stay back in order to separate them from one another? Now, lucky me, I had to separate Queen Nyla, because she's anyway super obsessed with me. That's why she was at the front in order to be able to greet me the first, and I just had to open the gate and she walked through. I think this was the easiest movement we've ever made. Now, since she's separated now from the rest of the pride, I used this opportunity to spend a bit of quality time with her so that she doesn't feel alone and she still feels loved and cared for before I went back to the main house to continuously plan the procedure for the next day. So, yeah, as you guys know, Nyla has those blisters on her mouth and tomorrow the vet will come to remove them and in order to do that we had to separate her so that tomorrow morning we can sedate her easily. Now, before we started, we had a quick talk and within that talk, we decided that myself and Noe are not gonna join the procedure because it's only taking about 15 minutes and we don't want the rest of the lines to associate us, myself and Noe, with the vet. Because every time the vet comes, he has to dart them. In order to do that, he has to shoot at them and the lines are always pretty pissed. So to keep our relationship clean with the rest of the pride, we're not gonna join this procedure. But of course, the rest of the team is gonna be there, the cameras are gonna be there so you're not gonna miss out on nothing. I hate not being able to be there in such situations but since we ran through such procedures a couple of times already in the past I have full trust in the vet as well as the rest of the team that everything will go well. I mean, even though I was not physically there, Andy constantly updated me about the current situation and how things are going, as well as Ellie and the rest of the team were recording the reactions of the lions of the rest of the pride so that I could still learn and see how their reaction is in such situations. Because we planned and prepared everything perfectly and Dr. Sparks had so much patience, love and of course experience in this field, we could tranquilize Nyla at an incredible low level of stress. An incredible thing was to see Leo and how concerned he was about the whole procedure. He would not leave the fence and stick to the fence at every second of the procedure. This is what I call true love. It took Nyla about 20 minutes to fall asleep. Until then, the team could enter and do the work which needed to be done. In this moment, I was incredibly concerned as well. I was sitting about 200 meters away from there at home at the table, just asking constantly how it is going. And at this stage, one more time, a big thank you and a huge shout out to Dr. Sparks and his assistant who have until now always done a phenomenal job.
They successfully removed the blisters, which we ended up finding out that they were a virus which even could have been contagious and infect the other lions. But everything went well, the virus is removed, and the lions are all happy and healthy. All right, so as you guys can see, Nyla woke up already. She's still a bit confused and she's breathing heavily. Uh, but that's going to calm down within the next uh, one or two hours. I hope she's not going to scratch too much there. As you guys could just see now, uh, obviously she's a bit itchy where the stitches are. Uh, but if she's strong this afternoon, we can reunite her already with her pride and she'll be super happy about that. All right, my girl? Okay. You've done a phenomenal job. All right, so it looks like Nyla is back and strong and ready to be reunited with the rest of the pride. Leo is acting a bit possessive right now, so that's why we just want to uh, give it a couple of minutes in order to prevent any fights or any major misunderstandings between them. Right? <laughs> so there is a bit of aggressive dynamic here because Leo is super pissed because he was split from his actual girlfriend. And uh, that's why we're gonna try to trigger their attention to the other side of the camp. We're gonna act like it's feeding day and hopefully the, all the lions are gonna run that side. You see the first ones are already getting up because they hear the vehicle uh, driving towards it. And then we can just open the gate, let Nyla through and close the gates and then we're sorted. All right, Leo has to decide now food or girlfriend. What is he gonna go for? So Leo decided he wants to stick to his girlfriend, which I'm very proud of you. Um, but anyways, uh, we decided that Noe is going to open up that gate and as soon as Nyla walks in here, I'll try to open up that gate and let her run out. Hopefully that's going to work. I'm telling you guys, Leo is a bad boy. <laughs> he definitely is. All right, and now it's time to do the castration on the monkeys. Dr. Sparks gave me this little tablet. I'm going to break it into a half. Um, I'm going to put some honey to it, and then we hope that they're going to lick it. So they'll take it in orally. That will calm them down, make them very sleepy and tired. And then we can go there very chilled, hopefully, and do the injection. Because what we don't want to do is we don't want to capture them in a very stressed way and then inject them with a sedation. So now honey is the most natural sugar source, um, if you want it that way. So I'll put some honey on it, they love it. And hopefully it will wave away the bitter taste of that pill. I'm gonna mix it up now nicely so that they don't just lick off the honey and leave the powder of the tablet behind here at the bottom part. So we have to mix it up nicely. You can open it up and then you can close it quickly again. And I'll just try to... Yeah. All right, they, well, Momo is already done. He licked up everything. JJ also, I mean, I wouldn't have expected it to go so well. But since we didn't feed them the evening before because of the surgery, we were not allowed to. I think they're super, you know, happy to get something in between their teeth. So they enjoyed it a lot. Basically done. Yeah, you want more. You're gonna get a bit sleepy now, and uh, yeah, hopefully then everything is gonna go well. Alright, now we're gonna quickly talk about why I decided to castrate JJ and Momo. So over the past couple of months, I've consulted with several primate and capuchin specialists from all around the world before I made this decision. Now the reality is, JJ and Momo, they are right now only three years old. They will reach sexual maturity at the age of five and their lifespan is up to 30 years in the wild and up to 50 years in captivity. This is a very long time. Capuchins live in big, big social families, up to 30, 40 individuals. So socializing and living in a group is essential for them. 
Now, since there is only JJ and Momo, two males, it can be quite competitive and sometimes even dangerous that they end up with bloody fights once they reach sexual maturity. Now, the removal of the testicles prevents them from producing testosterone, which is the hormone which increases their aggression and pushes their instinctive desire to dominate. So having that said, the castration of a capuchin monkey is not as easy as some of you guys might think it is. These animals are super fragile, they are very sensitive, and if you have been following me over a couple of years and you've seen how I brought up JJ and Momo, you could see that even the slightest thing could cause serious sicknesses and disease in them. And the whole road to health again, the recovery phase, is one of the toughest things because they're not just gonna swallow pills and take in the medicine like a human would do it. So if you have kids, you might be able to relate to it the best because these guys are literally like my own flesh and blood. I've been changing nappies, I've been taking care of them, I've been going through ups and downs with them for the past three years. And to have such an intimate bond with them and then seeing them there, the doctor cutting them open, and you know, every surgery comes with certain risks. It's not a great feeling inside, you know? And uh, yeah, I think in the end of the day, I did that decision for them in order for them to be able to have a peaceful rest of their life, which is still another hopefully 45 or 50 years uh, with a beautiful family uh, within their brotherly relationship, the way they have it, without having to uh, dominate each other too much, without ending up in bloody fights or even seriously injure one another. Last but not least, we are now doing internal stitches so that the monkeys, when they wake up, they won't fiddle around in the wound and open it up again. Because if you would do external stitches, there will be material for them to pull on and most probably maybe get infected or so. So Dr. Sparks has just done a phenomenal job. Quick update, JJ is done, he's already in the wake up room, everything went perfectly well and they're right now just busy with Momo. Wow guys, this was a tough day, a busy day. Um, the surgery is done. Everything went super well on both of them. I was there with the monkeys now during their wake up scenario for a couple of hours. We've been sleeping, we've been cuddling. They already ate some banana, they already had some watermelon as well as electrolytes. They already fell asleep again. So I took that chance to go out and just, you know, walk a little bit and get a bit uh, busy. And uh, yeah, I think it was a super successful day can't say any more to it the day is coming to an end as you guys can see the beautiful sunset behind me and uh, thank you for all your support take care i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you want to see what's next then make sure to subscribe my youtube channel right now and if you want to see more content you're so welcome to follow my other socials as well thank you so much for watching and see you guys later